Yeah, so I put this awning on. It's an 11-foot awning, um, and got these cool lights here that are from uh, Tractor Supply. Pick them up, and I just rigged up some little hooks on them so they slide in the groove there. So you can take them on and off to roll the awning in and out. This and is a manual awning, right? Yes, it's a, ma a manual awning. Okay. So yeah. And then over here, I got the solar part of the solar setup here. Inside here is a nature's generator, all in one. Uh, sort of like a Jackery, but it's a different brand, obviously. And then when you want to hook up the solar, we just unplug the power grid right here and plug in the this plug right here instead. And so that's the that's the solar power for that. That's the window air conditioner that keeps it pretty nice and cool in the summertime. And this is the it's five thousand, I think. It's it's the small window unit. Yeah, I think it's five thousand. Uh, and then this is the diesel heater fuel tank here and the exhaust pipe you can see under there. We'll show more detail inside. Yes. Yeah. This back door. This back door and the, the toy hauler door does come down and work as well. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yep. And you, you can, have uh, solar panels on the roof. Yep. You got 300 watts of uh, Jack uh, Renergy panels. Renergy I believe panels. it is. Yep. Okay. Yep. So, 300, 300 and watts. the reason we put this door in the back is because the Murphy bed inside blocks off the other entrance door, and so this back door was kind of an afterthought. So, oh, yeah. Kind of. Yeah, it works. And you do have a handle there for the yeah, that you yeah. Put, put this handle on here for easy access. Easy access. Got a little uh, lock box here for for privacy if you want to lock it up. So okay, and the door, the RV style door there. Yep. Put the RV style door in. Yeah, I put the this is the original door. I just added the window on it. So okay. Yeah. So this is the dinette right here, which right as you come in, um, and behind it is a Murphy bed. So in order to use one or the other, they can't. Uh, you have to put one away. So, oh. currently the dinette is out and the bed's away, but we'll put we'll switch them around here in a bit. Um, this is the kitchen area here. We got some nice built from scratch uh, cabinets. Mostly built. The doors are from like reclaimed barn wood, and uh, the countertop is also reclaimed barn wood. And I got the countertop glaze epoxy on here. Okay. Which is very nice. Uh, sink here. Got water. Cold water only. If you want hot water, you gotta. You gotta cook over the campfire. You gotta cook it over campfire. You gotta be primitive. <laughs> okay, and this is a RV style, RV style sink. Yes, it's a little bit smaller than the, right than a residential. Residential, yep. right? Okay. Yeah. Got a little uh, apartment fridge and freezer here. Okay. Um, yeah, it's pretty okay. small, but it's is adequate. That residential. Yes. Residential yep. appliance. Okay. Yeah. So it's not a twelve volt. It, okay. Yeah. Um, down here's the the water supply. Right there's just two five gallon buckets that are hooked up to a 12 volt RV water pump there. So yeah. it's a very simple design. We got a shower um, that you can heat up water and put it in a, in a little pot here and then turn on the pump. It siphons it up and puts it out in the shower and a little bucket toilet there for, uh, for your convenience. <laughs> And then to dump the shower, it doesn't have any plumbing in it, so you just take this tub outside and discard the water. So, and then that that also makes it that you can open this up and have it for your dirt bike or lawnmower or, or whatever toy you got. So, <laughs> got the, a little electric oven here, toaster oven. Here's the top drawers. Got silverware in there. I got some grill utensils in there and uh, cutting board and whatnot. And down here is the electric stove as well uh, that you can use on the countertop. Get this out of here. Up in quick store. Yep. Just like right that. Through. So the bed folds down uh, and rests right here on these two supports or seats. They double as supports. <laughs> Okay. 
So it's a nice, comfortable uh, size bed here. We got some closet space back there for bedding and clothing, whatever, and fan to keep cool. And the air conditioner also is uh, vented to come up back there um, for, so it's not too hot in here. <laughs> here is the seat moves around to go over here to the dinette and also works as a bed support and just extra storage as well. And same with this side, we got the extra storage and the window air conditioner is mounted in there and the diesel heater is there as well. Um, put this up. These are the vents for, is that for the air conditioner and the vent for the, the heater? Yeah, so I got uh, my breaker box right there and then this is a an, an extra, or a 12 volt battery that's not connected to the solar system and it runs all the 12 volt things in here like the water pump and heater and lights and the solar generator outside charges this battery and the shore power also charges that battery so that's how that all works and we just got extra storage down here got a little space heater in there for uh, backup um, ceiling got uh, foam board insulation all around in the ceiling and the floor and the sidewalls. So it's uh, it's not like a house, but it's pretty good for an RV, I think. So lights up here are just a regular 12 volt RV lights and it's on a dimmer switch. So just touch that, make it go dim like that or bright. On the walls here, I used all the original plywood that was on the cargo trailer. And I just took my circular saw and cut some small grooves in here to make it look like shiplap. So that was a way of saving money and, and also getting a nice uh, farmhouse look, kind of. Sure. So, yeah. All right. Well, thanks a lot. We appreciate your, your tour. We appreciate you letting us... We appreciate you letting us use this. Sorry, you want to start that again? Yeah. Okay. All right. We appreciate him letting us tour his uh, cargo trailer conversion, and this is it, we're out. <laughs> Boom.